Hey guys, what's up? Today is a huge day. We have so much to do on this Clipper project and I just wanted to give you an overall of really what is on the table here for this project and just kind of walk around the plane. What we had to do, if you watched the previous video, we pulled the wings off, we got everything opened and um, a lot of time went by, but I found some issues and we actually had a donor clipper, which was Texas Clipper. So we had some original clipper wings. We got off of that clipper. So we got those on. We had to get everything all back together because we did a big, big move with this clipper. We actually went to the experimental exhibition category. And for that to happen, it had to be all back together, go through inspections. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna get into the fuselage. We're gonna pull the prop off. We're gonna pull the engine off we're going to hopefully get the gear off as well so i could keep going and i'm just going to stop but we have mcfarlane aviation they're helping us out with some engine stuff and u avionics is going to work with us on putting together a really nice panel with some av30s and a tail beacon even though it's going to be a simple panel it's going to be a really nice panel let's go around and check out the inside i think i want to call it stole ish because i just keep going back to that and number one, it is a short wing Piper, which typically is not really a stole, you know, bush type of airplane. I think I'm gonna go stolish. Let me know what you think. If you have another, I guess something to add to that. Let me know in the comments. So inside here, this is the first thing you'll notice. Uh, officially experimental exhibition category. That's the two inch letters. As you get in the cockpit, that's one of the requirements for the airworthy certificate. So over here, you can check out we got some really old dinosaur instruments with the new wings. Once we get those rebuilt, this tank is coming out. So I'll be able to actually move this down to more comfortable position. Right now you have to kind of go over that. So we're going to do a brand new panel. Super excited for that, but we got to get this out so we can start laying out the new design and actually make a new panel. So we're going to be replacing the carpet with a kind of like a vinyl from uh, SCS Interiors. Um, they have a, it's kind of like a tannish color. We're gonna put that in. And then the front seats and the back seats are gonna be totally custom. Cameron, your camera guy. That's me. Is gonna be doing some awesome work on using three different types of material. And we're gonna have some really nice contrast going on there. Um, the headliner is pretty good. Um, Again, this fuselage is done in 2019, if you didn't watch a previous video. So we're gonna have a super awesome prop from Cincinnati Propeller. We're gonna have some amazing interior from Cameron. We're gonna do the panel, which is gonna be awesome. UAVionics and Electronics International. Uh, let's go over the last thing I wanna mention. We have the firewall, stainless steel, brand new. Let's go over and check that out and tell you what we're gonna do with it. All right, so over here, we have a brand new firewall from Clyde Smith, AKA the Cub Doctor. And it is brand spanking new. What we're gonna do before this gets installed, you can see here, I have lots of polishing, polishing jazz. So this is gonna be going through a few different stages of getting it basically kind of a rough compound and we're gonna come all the way up to just a mere finish before it gets installed. So it's basically gonna be one showpiece firewall forward. All right, while we got it right here, um, we're gonna pick out the third color for the seats. Cameron and I just wanna check that out, but I think we wanna go with something more of a tannish, not kind of a tan neutral. So originally we were thinking, I think this titanium, but I'm thinking maybe more like mocha because it's not quite gray and it's not quite tan, but mm -hmm. it has a little hues of uh, a little of, wear nice too, I would think. So, yeah. so the other colors, we don't have them with us right now, but it's kind of, it's not exactly, but it's going to be kind of like a orangish brown and a blue. And then this right here would be the center section and mm -hmm. the, where you sit on in, in your back. So something we'll go with mocha. We'll verify that. We'll put it in the plane here in a few minutes and see, but uh, it's gonna be nice. Today is a big day because we are gonna remove, again, the prop, the engine, hopefully the landing gear. 
I may myself, after Cameron leaves, I'll get into removing the instrument panel. So um, it's a big day and yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode and stay tuned for this project to unfold and just become an amazing stowish clipper. And I really appreciate your time. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. I'll see you in the next one, later. All right, so now we got the engine off, obviously, and it's looking pretty, uh, looking pretty bare. So this was a brand new engine mount I put in. This old, nasty looking firewall that's all been patched up and, well, I just stuck my finger through there. That was a nice little patch. But uh, it's looking pretty gnarly. So this is all gonna be completely mirror finish. The engine mount is gonna be probably a custom collar. I'm not really sure yet on that, but um, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the gantry, I have a wood gantry. We're gonna lift up the fuselage, get the gear out. Then we're gonna put some nice supports underneath to drop it back down and let it rest on. So that's gonna be our next step. And yeah, let's get to it. I don't like these old nasty looking brake lines. So we want those replaced and there's some cracks on this. And um, most importantly, we're gonna go in and add some extra support in here. All right, well, we got the gear off and we went ahead and removed the tire off of this gear. So what I want to do is cut this open and let's see what the condition of this is in the inside here as far as our frame. Okay, and we want to do some extra support. Sweet, there it is, man. I'll just lay that over there, maybe on the outside of the frame here for now. So we got over 40 pounds of instrumentation here and it's gonna be cut down to, my gosh. I would say we're probably gonna be somewhere around 15 pounds I bet altogether. 
at the most with the new panels. So uh, this is going to be huge. Not much to see other than lots of bareness. So what I'm hoping to do, obviously we got rid of the fuel tank. It's going to be so open down here and it's going to be really good for access for just everything. Decent list of lines, hoses. So we'll have some hard lines we're going to replace. The center tank is going to be gone. So what we're going to do is basically take this. It's just going to be a new line. It's going to come up over. It'll continue on and it will actually connect to this line here. If you can see it or not. This right here is a line that's actually already stubbed out that was put in for provisions for a right wing tank. So we're going to tie into that. So here we go. It is getting real.